How to make portfolio on Behance 2023 step by step. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we are going to be discussing about Behance and how you're going to use this incredible platform to make yourself a nice and great looking portfolio, okay? And as you can see, it's a really good design and art based uh, platform where people, you know, upload their different designs, their art, their abstractness and all that. And as you can see, it's all pretty good and great stuff to even look at. So, you know, it's pretty nice. And that is what we're going to be following today. And that is what we're going to be talking in depth about today. OK, so please. Do make sure to fully watch this video till the end to, you know, fully learn the, uh, you know, great depth and detail about Behance and how we're going to use this actual software. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, obviously, to start things off, uh, we are going to make sure that, um, you know, we know how to use the creative cloud apps like Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere Pro, editing, etc. And to obviously uh, see the different things about that, we're going to go up to Discover. Now, once you go up to Discover, as you can see, you can see like different designs for like the best of BNs, you know, uh, projects featured today by our curators, you know, multiple owners or clean office. Like, look at these. Some of them are abstract. Some of them are 3D. Some of them are, you know, minimal. They follow a lot of great designs like this one's on minimalism. This one's abstract. You get the whole point of it. Now, if you move over to for you, basically it tells us, you know, find creative work you love. Start your feed by selecting a few categories below. OK, you have graphic design, fine arts, photography, street art, icon design, interior, UI, UX, typography and, you know, a lot of different things. So this is obviously the basic for you feed and uh, you could go with like uh, any different design. So let's say I'm going to go with the graphic design and photography and icon design logo. And uh, yeah, I think, yeah, I'm gonna go with film, game design. And once I've chosen these things, I'm gonna go ahead and click on view your custom feed. Now, as you can see, it starts giving us all these things, you know, welcome to your for you feed as you follow more creative, et cetera, et cetera. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click up on sign up with email, okay? And once you click on sign up with email, basically it's going to bring you here, you know, create an account, sign up with email, et cetera, et cetera. Now I already have an email over here. It is a temp mail. Now you don't necessarily need to use a temp mail. I'm just using it because I'd rather use a temp mail for this platform. Okay. And once we do that, I'm going to click on continue and I'm going to choose my name, date of birth, et cetera. Uh, let's say I'm going to put it as that, uh, date of birth. There we go. Country, region, etc. cetera. Uh, you can ask them to contact you. I'm just going to turn that off. Click on done. And once you click on done, obviously it starts loading and takes you into the verification. You're just going to go ahead and start the puzzle. You know, complete whatever they're asking of you. Once you've solved everything, again, click on next, click on done. And it's going to basically take you here. So Behance authorization and login. So here we are, Behance.net recommended for you today now obviously this is your basic you know behance uh dashboard with your basic for you okay and once you're over here and uh, you actually want to see the different users with different designs let's say i'm gonna go with this guy andrea dal soglio okay he's a photographer and he takes pictures of uh, watches and look at those pictures they look pretty incredible don't they and uh, as you can see this one's a um, uh blue dial rolex and it looks pretty amazing looks pretty nice and the photo that has been taken is uh, pretty off the hook it looks pretty good and you can obviously study a user's profile by looking at the things that they have uh, actually done you know by and look at this this person gets twenty eight thousand project views how crazy is that and then obviously you can see his followers the following and and obviously go and see like the type of designs that he has his cover over here uh you can see his profile picture and all so you know he gives us the full data and detail about himself 
So pretty great and amazing stuff that you can see. And uh, obviously there's a whole lot more that you can actually discover about a person by just looking at their, you know, products and all. So pretty great and amazing stuff. Now, obviously to create a portfolio somewhat like this, what you're going to do is you're obviously going to go on show your work. Okay. And once you show your work, uh, you're going to basically build a complete case study on project. Okay. Now, once you do that, you're going to start adding different images for yourself. Okay. So to start building project, all right, continue to editor. Uh, you're going to start adding different images and stuff. And what you're going to do is you're going to create a portfolio using Canva or some other artifact. Okay. And, uh, because why I mentioned Canva is because Canva is like a pretty amazing app that gives you all these different features that you can use to, you know, actually create a good presentation. So obviously we're going to go up here on presentation and, uh, you know, create blank and you can start creating different presentations uh, using all these different uh, designs. So let's say I'm going to go with this, you know, uh, let's go with minimalist designs and then you know, over here, you can add your own photo, you can add your name, you can add your company down here. And uh, then you have this, you know, you get table of contents, you get the about us, you get all this and you can see it's a really good and nice looking design with uh, a lot of nice looking, you know, abstract art ideas and all that. So pretty great and amazing stuff to have for your page. Now, moving further on, what you can do is uh, basically like to get the most out of minimalism or to get the most out of your portfolio design uh you can also go ahead into design okay over here and you can actually search up portfolio okay and once you actually search a portfolio it gives you actual creator portfolios so as you can see you can get whole portfolio designs that you can actually follow up, uh, you know, and to obviously make them look artistic, you are going to want to do some work. And what do I mean by you are going to want to do some work is, um, you know, add some different uh, designs and stuff and all that. So obviously that is going to be required. And once you like use all these steps to, you know, create a good artistic looking portfolio, just go ahead and click on share download download it as a png okay because we're going to be putting on pictures on behance so once you download it as png then one by one just add images into your project and once you do that you're going to click on share your work and that is going to create a good portfolio a good and solid portfolio on your behance in the easiest most incredible way possible okay so yeah that's basically about it for this video now if you enjoyed watching drop down a like and subscribe to the channel and if you want to see more videos like this in the future let me know down in the comments below and i'll make more for you but yeah that's about it for this video thank you for watching and i'll be seeing all of you incredible people next time goodbye